Hi guys, this is your boy Emmanuel Ajmaibadu. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Sahara Football. Yes. On Friday, the Ghana Black Stars head coach Otuado will be naming his 25-man uh, squad reportedly. And the reports are indicating and have, we've heard rumors about the kind of players or the number of players or uh, whether European or non-European players will be included. The truth of the matter is that the players that will be called up by coach Otuado will include a few more locally based players because probability of us especially in the second game making it to the next round is quite low so and since the chant qualifiers are going to happen the rumors are that more local players will be in there we'll be delving into it today Those players who missed out in the last qualifiers that could be included here and the last time our thomas party could not make it he's fit again could we expect him to be in there? We'll look at the Ghana Black Star situation all around today. But as usual, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell to get more updates. Today is the birthday of the maestro himself, Abedi Ayu Pele. He turns 59 years today. Abedi Pele, in case you are extremely young and have never heard of him, Abedi Pele is the greatest to do it for Ghana. I know Baby Jetta Samwajan is one of the best goal scorers or the greatest Ghanaian goal scorers in recent history, but what Abedi Pele used to do with the ball at his feet was a sight to behold. Abedi Pele turns 59 today, and he gave us two amazing footballers that have graced the Ghana Black Stars team and has made us cherish watching and loving watching football again we wish him all the very best on his amazing birthday and uh, wish him many more years ahead as he hits the big 60 next year prosper nati Ogum of kumasi asante kotoko as well celebrates his birthday today we wish him all the very best kumasi asante kotoko have not been in the greatest of form in the last two games losing to legon cities and uh, also losing over the weekend uh, to Heart of Lions. Not so great, but hopefully he does enjoy his birthday. And that could kickstart Kotoko getting back to winning ways over the weekend. We'll jump right into it and talk about the Ghana Black Star squad that could be uh, called up this Friday. Yeah, on the 8th of November, the Ghana national team head coach could be calling up 25 players to play in the final two qualifier games. Ghana's position is quite precarious and it doesn't look like we will make it into the African Cup of Nations. It's completely out of Ghana's hands and it is looking like the players that will be called up is because of the Chan qualifiers. Now, the Chan qualifiers is going to be played next month and currently at Pram Pram, Ghana Soccer Man Center of Excellence, players are training and playing friendly games there now the chan is for the black galaxies which is the local black stars or as they say black stars b and because of that they coined it to the black galaxies it includes players from the local leagues the leagues in the country that form the national team so that is basically what it is the chan qualifies will take place Ghana will take place in the second round uh, owing to the fact that we are a bit higher ranked and in the last Chan competition we were there we qualified for it and it went as far as I think the knockout phases if I'm not mistaken but it wasn't great after that Ghana could not do well in the Chan competition as we're expecting the next qualifier game is versus Nigeria so preparations have to be in it now the reports are that many non-European or many European players might not be called up for this one yet it's looking more likely that Ghana will not qualify for Afcon so maybe the top guns could probably be missing once again Thomas Partey was ill and could not make it he's fit again could he be in the contention to play I doubt it because I don't know what exactly, especially looking at how things, the dynamic of things, we need to win our two games. We've not won in the last four games. We need to win our two games and hope Sudan loses to stand any chance. And those are very, very difficult circumstances. Those are very, very difficult obstacles to uh, to overcome angola we play next on the 15th of november and angola have shown over the qualifying phase that 
they are no pushover they've won all their four games they can now decide to rest a lot of their players and make sure that they get us they get top spots what well, they are not guaranteed of well they they are guaranteed of top spot now okay Probably if they lose their two games as well, they will not get top spot. But if they lose their two games, it means Ghana as well will not qualify. So it's not in Ghana's hands. And it's looking likely that more local players will be called. A few more of them will be called into the Ghana national team. Those that have been doing amazingly well for their club sites, it looks like they will be one of the few numbers that will be going up. Coach Otuado will unveil his team on the, for the final two matches now facing a high stakes situation the black stars needs nothing short of two victories to keep their aim of qualification alive the black stars journey uh, through the qualifiers has been disappointing and losing to angola drawing with niger drawing with sudan losing to sudan and now we find ourselves in such a precarious situation it is quite unfortunate uh, the specific players to be dropped from europe is not yet known ghana is set to face angola on 15th november friday and then three days later 18th november they will be facing niger at the accra sports stadium that is the news on that front hopefully the boys wake up from their deep slumber they've been in they go back to their clubs do amazingly well come back for the ghana black stars and it's like they've never kicked a ball before so many issues in camp it is not something i like to discuss about so much you are footballers you are professionals do your jobs guys it's as simple as that well to me that is how it looks do your jobs let's all go home happy and bring joy into the faces of Ghanaians. There's so much strife and hardship already in the country. The Black Stars shouldn't be adding to that. They should be a form of relief or release. But in recent times, they have been causing us more pain. And it's more painful because we do not expect that from them, essentially. So that is it there on the front of the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, Otoado is set to name the squad on Friday. It's set to include more local players, a few more local players. And it's also set to exclude a few more foreign-based players. Let me know what you think in the comments box. Uh, does that mean uh, we will do better? A few of you have been clamoring for local players. Some say they are not up to it yet. If the call-up is made, as and when it is made, we will update you accordingly and let you know uh, why it is that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.